Yo, hello everybody. I hope you can see me. I hope you can hear me. Uh, this is the first time I'm doing this, so I'm not quite sure if I'm doing anything correctly. Um, so far, I don't see anybody. Nobody. Anybody? Hello? Anybody out there? Okay, I'm being silly. <laughs> um, I still see zero. Oh, there's one. Hi. Hello. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> okay, um, I get excited um, with little things, guys. I'm a cancer, so. Anyways, uh, I'm sure some of you guys have noticed that I am... Hi, <laughs> I feel so shy. Eva's kitchen. Hello. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm live. Oh my word. Uh, okay, um, guys. Okay, I just lost my chain of thought. Okay, now I know. Now I know what I'm going to say. Okay, guys, I'm sure some of you already noticed that I am experimenting with my YouTube channel. The reason why I'm doing this experiment is because I want to uh, get an informed perspective about my future videos so that whenever I create YouTube videos, I know exactly what I'm advising you on, what works, what will not work. So I have started with YouTube Shorts, as you have noticed in the past two weeks. And I want to check if these are going to work or are not going to work. Um, hi, H Life. Oh my goodness. I'm very happy to see you guys here. Yeah, so I want to give you guys uh, solid advice on how you can grow your YouTube channels and things of na that nature. So let me make some few uh, notes here for you to note. Number one, I live near an airport, international airport, and I live very close to a very major runway. So now and again, you are going to hear like real big airplanes flying by. Secondly, I also live near a like a main road. So you're going to be hearing a lot of cars as well. Thirdly, you, I'm making this, um, well, well I'm, I'm actually live on my cell phone. So now and again, you're going to hear notifications come through. So I hope you understand. Anyways, let's continue. Is there questions that you a question that you like to ask? I highly appreciate questions so that um, you give me some guidance on how I can proceed with this live. So Angela, thank you so much for the advice on shorts. I did my YouTube shorts today and got 10 new subscribers. Well done. Uh, thank you so much for sharing information to us. It really helping us. You guys are very much welcome. You know, I, let me tell you something that I always feel guilty about. I am doing all things YouTube, and yet my YouTube channel has not even arrived to 1,000 subscribers yet. But the way you guys have been such great sports, I very much appreciate you guys um i thought i was going to get trolled i was going to get mocked and things of that nature and that has not happened i'm very grateful for that love your accent <laughs> oh do i have a story on my accent you'll be uh, anyways let's not talk about that one <laughs> thank you though <laughs> what would you recommend your content oh what would you recommend for content when going live from lifestyle kind of channel. Um, my recommendation is be authentic. If you are authentic about your lifestyle, there is nothing more sad when I see lifestyle vlogs and lifestyle channels. You can tell that this person is number one, struggling to uh, create content around lifestyle. And that comes off on screen. So if you are going to be doing that, make sure that you are authentic and um, so that you reel in people and you connect with people. And then when you're doing these lifestyle channels, 
uh, channel, ensure that you are relevant and make sure that you are on top of the game in terms of trends, in terms of destinations. If if your channel is about uh, traveling or whatever the case might be, I know right now we are still uh, under this pandemic that I can't mention the name, but just make sure that whatever it is that you do with your YouTube channel, you connect with your audience by being real. I don't know if that answers your question. Um, Musiso Matebula just, well, is it Matebula? Yeah, Matebula. No, Matabela. Sorry, I apologize. What happened to your subscribers? Because last week there were more than 335. <laughs> Very good question. I was, I was experimenting. Uh, I think uh, in the beginning of this live, I said I'm experimenting with my YouTube channel. I spoke about Sub for Sub that it is frowned upon by YouTube. So what I had done was I went into a, um, a YouTube channel where I think they were talking about small YouTube support, which I'm going to talk about how dangerous that is. So I went in there to experiment and I said, I'm here. And then people came and subscribed. So that word, I'm here, instead of saying sub for sub, YouTube picked it up. The YouTube algorithm picked it up and said, okay, I'm trying to be clever. And then all the people that subscribe to my channel, then the YouTube algorithm did what? Removed them. Because it considered those subscribers as fake. I don't know that if, I don't know if that answers your question. Because if you keep doing this over and over and over, the consequence is your channel, you, the consequence is that YouTube will cancel your YouTube channel altogether. So for me, I knew that doing this is going to be like my first violation and I wanted to prove that it doesn't work. So if you are going to engage in fake engagement, like uh, going for sub for sub, YouTube is not stupid. So it removed them and left me with my authentic subscribers. So that is why it's so important that when you create a YouTube channel, however slow your YouTube channel is going to grow, be patient and create your, I mean, build your community authentically. And I think the word that we use most of, I mean, these days is organically, as opposed to going to uh, other people's channels and say, hey, subscribe to me and I'll subscribe to you. Uh, genuine uh, connection, that is a lie. Another thing about these people uh, that you go to and say, hey, subscribe to me, I'll subscribe to you, is that they will subscribe. Immediately they see that you subscribe back, they will unsubscribe you. That's just how these people are evil. I call that evilness. Like you subscribe to my channel, I subscribe. So it's it just, just a mess. I knew that I was going to lose uh, those subscribers. And I knew that the algorithm was going to leave me with my authentic uh, subscribers. I don't know if I, that answered your question. Um... I'm really scared of doing live. This is from Twengile. I'm really scared to doing live. I feel like I might mess up. Hey, this is my first live. And by the way, one of the reasons why I'm doing this live is so that it's to show you that it's okay to go live. You are going to mess up. I'm going to mess up too. Uh, sometimes I'm, I think a lot when I speak, so I will pause to think. So uh, for some people, it may be irritating. I don't know. So... I hope you will take inspiration uh, with me going live and basically putting myself out there like this. So don't be afraid. Um, true, thank you. Peace and blessing at the real clans. Thank you, thank you so much. Uh, Rangmon Music, is it Rangman? Okay, <laughs> very interesting name. He's like, true, these people are evil. Very much so, hey. Um, subscribe to me, I subscribe to you, you subscribe, then they unsubscribe you. Because they know that they are not going to watch your content. Your content is nothing what they are interested in. A gamer watching uh, a lifestyle uh, channel, these two doesn't mix. So to, for them to gain a subscriber, they will say, subscribe to me, I subscribe to you. Once you subscribe, they're gone. And then you left their subscribe to them. So they, this subscriber count um, is up. But the problem is 
you as well as a person who does not subscribe, maybe like I'm not like subscribe, who is not interested in gaming, and this person uh, uh, uploads a video on uh, maybe Fortnite or whatever the games are out there, are you going to watch that? Are you going to watch that video? I doubt you will. So either way, both of you still are hurting each other's channels um, in my view. Um, Juan, uh, please tell me if I'm, I'm pronouncing your name wrong. Juan or Juan motivates yo. <laughs> um, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Juan. I think I'm pronouncing it correctly. You are doing a great job. Have you reached 2,000 hours of watch time? One of the reasons why I'm doing live is also to increase my watch time. No, I have not reached 2,000 yet. But uh, one of the things that you need to understand as a YouTuber is that just because you create YouTube videos and you post them on your channel and you see a 1,000 views, that doesn't necessarily mean that people are watching your videos from beginning to the end. You'll find that if you look at your analytics, your analytics will show you that people drop out here or people basically stick to that video for a long period of time. So with me, I find that people watch at least five to six minutes of my video, sometimes even less. And as a result of that, my watch time basically becomes very, very, very uh, slow in growing. It's just the nature of YouTube, I suppose. Um, topic. Um, well, we're just talking about anything. <laughs> you can ask a question, uh, but it needs to be uh, related to YouTube, and then I will just uh, answer that. You're correct. Oh, thank you, Juan Motivates. <laughs> thank you. Twain Gilles says, how did you become so in Monica? Huh? Okay, wait, wait. Okay, <laughs> sorry. How did you become so confident on camera? I become so nervous. Oh my goodness. Let me tell you a story. When I started YouTube, I was so uh, afraid. Number one, I'm a recluse. I'm basically a recluse is a loner. It's a person who lives, does things by himself, doesn't have friends, all by choice, by the way. I don't feel sorry for me. So when I started YouTube, I was worried about so many things. Number one, my accent. I'm a South African, and yet people will say, oh, you don't sound South African. <laughs> well, I am. I'm Zulu, basically. And secondly, I worried about the gaps between my teeth, if you see that. It, that kind of like <laughs> was one of my major uh, stuff that held me back. I've never experienced people mocking me or uh, bullying me uh, regarding the gaps between my teeth. I think it's just me and my head. So one thing I, I always tell myself is, you know what? This is what I want to do. I love doing what I do. Uh, if people are going to mock me, hey, you're going to find haters. You're going to find people that are going to support you. You're going to find people that you are going to connect with. That is what is important. So as a result of that, I became confident uh, in front of a camera. And uh, but, but if you look at my, if you watch my earlier videos, you would laugh your lungs out. In fact, they are all cringeworthy because I was trying to build my confidence. So I don't know. You just have to tell yourself that, you know what, I'm doing what I love. And if, if people are going to accept it, fine. If they are not, that's okay too. But continue doing what you love. Um, Reg, uh, as, as in Reggie, hey, Reggie, uh, okay, I get it, and Mon in Monica, okay, okay, I'll get you, I'll get you, um, greetings from Tamako, Washington, <laughs> okay, is it Tamako, <laughs> Tacoma, oh, Tacoma, I think I've heard of that, Tacoma, Washington, hi, I, oh my gosh, uh, that's so incredible. Let me just refresh so I can see everybody's comment. Uh, really see the same thing with me. Please just click the leave. That really hurts. Uh, okay, I don't, I'm not sure. You can get that fixed. No, I'm not going to get my teeth fixed. It, the, everything, you know, I've learned that everything on your body, it's way it's supposed to be. 
unless if that brings some sort of harm to you, then um, then you should do some corrections. But for me, no. Uh, my The gap between my teeth, uh, my signature, I suppose, that's how m many people identify me. And I'm fine with that, to be honest. It's just that I had a moment of... Uh, of self-esteem that I will be loved at. I mean, come on, the internet can be a very cruel place to be. Um, you do sound South Africa. Oh, thank you. I mean, I appreciate that. Hi, <laughs> Mama Ifechi. Ifechi. Oh, the gap is great. Do you know that some people pay to get that gap? Really? That is interesting. Musiso asks, how do you keep up with being patient because the growth on uh, YouTube is so slow? Well, <laughs> few factors that you need to exercise when you are a YouTuber. Patience is one of them. You've got to be patient and then accompany that patience with consistency because if you are not going to be consistent because of lack of patience, then you are going to drop out or quit YouTube altogether. So you just have to do what you got to do because one of the days you will go to bed, wake up in the morning and you'll find your YouTube channel has blown up to 100,000 subscribers and you'll be like, what happened? So you will never know what, what you would have uh, talked about on your content that got the algorithm triggered. So that is why consistency is so important. So yes, it is very slow. Sometimes I do also think, is this worth it? Uh, but because I'm, 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 I'm motivated by love of what I do, and on top of that, I want people to succeed on YouTube because I've realized that YouTube is a great platform to take you from being broke to literally having money. I mean, like serious money. If you are lucky, become a millionaire. How do you think the Mr. Beast and the PewDiePie's and uh, all these other people uh, got there? So who knows? You too might find yourself in that position. So just continue uploading. Be consistent in uploading. That is the, um, I know it sounds like a cliche, but it's true. Uh, what camera do you use? I use my cell phone. I use my cell phone. The reason why I'm using my cell phone is because I want to uh, build this channel from ground up so that I have a story to tell in the future that this is where I started. I don't want when I speak about things on my channel and then you see fancy things around me and you think, oh, anyways, you always had like fancy stuff. No. If you look at my earlier videos, you will see that I used to stand in front of a window during the day. I now film at night. Uh, right now I'm using three ring lights uh, because I saved up for them. So I'm busy saving up for a camera. Uh, so those are the things that I'm currently doing. Oh, by the way, speaking of um, buying things, I am going to be opening a Patreon account because I want to fast track the quality of my videos and, uh, and, and things of that nature. And hopefully some of you will join my Patreon and, um, yeah, <laughs> let's see what happens. Smitty Fitness, oh my God, yay. Hey, what's up, dude? <laughs> I watched your video uh, this afternoon uh, on your teaching people on wheelchairs and the elderies how to exercise. I thought that was awesome. And I still think that you should do live um, exercises. That will be incredible. Love your content, buddy. Thank you so much. I highly appreciate it. Andrew for gameplay. Hi, bro. Shout out, please. I think I just did. <laughs> Andrew for gameplay. Okay, it's one word, guys. Not slim. Yeah, money. <laughs> Indeed. So I like your patience. Are you a full-time YouTuber? Not yet. I don't think with the size of my channel, it is wise to go full-time YouTubing. I still have to have a day job, but maybe in the future. Um, Smithies, uh, I'm motivated to do what I do. 
uh, I love helping others with their fitness journey. I see it. I mean, you are very passionate. I, I see it when I watch your exercise videos. Uh, please shout out, bro. Um, Andrew for gameplay. Shout out. I hope you're happy. I'm good, thanks. I'm looking into live without mates. <laughs> yeah, um, it's a challenge, believe me. Being here, look at me. I'm like sweating because I'm nervous. But anyways, it, it needs to be done. It needs to be done. Um, any more questions? Okay, let me refresh and see if anybody asked a question earlier. Um, Mama Ife, she said, you've inspired me a lot since I started watching you. Thank you so much. I'm very happy to hear that. Uh, I'm, I'm very grateful to you two guys uh, for your support. You guys have been amazing. Absolutely amazing. Uh, Nary Slim, you are doing a great job. Thank you so much. I'm used to going live. I use, okay, used to run fitness sessions with people on all the time. Sometimes I have groups of 30. Wow. Yeah, you, you're very good at this. I mean... <laughs> I sweat when I do your exercises as well because I'm also trying to lose some weight. Um, I've started early January uh, on this journey. Um, I look a little different. You should, I used to have like a full neck when I started out and my face was like big. So I think I'm progressing very well as well. So I do watch a fitness channels uh, to enhance my... Uh, my progress. All right. Any more questions, guys, um, before I move on to other things? Okay, guys, while you are listening, another thing that I wanted to speak about is language on YouTube. I know uh, YouTube it doesn't necessarily tell you what words you need to you you can use, what words you can't use. Uh, right now, YouTube is very sensitive uh, towards uh, profanity. If you are going to use profanity in your videos, your videos or your channel, if you are monetized, will get demonetized. So I, was, I want to say that if you are going to use profanity or like the B words or F bombs, if you can avoid it in the first six minutes of your YouTube video, then you should be good with YouTube. Because the first six minutes, from what I, I understand, is that, that, that that's fun. But usually, the first 30 seconds would be for like a brand deal or a sponsor where you would market or advertise a brand. And if you are going to be throwing uh, F-bombs from the beginning of your YouTube videos, the thing is, you'll never know who's watching your YouTube videos. It could be marketers or brandies that are watching your, your channel. And then if they see a lot of profanity or hear a lot of profanity on your videos, they are going to strike you off working with you in the future because your, your, your channel is risque. So try to be as clean as, clean as possible on your videos. Uh, I would rather you not use profanity at all. I know some people, when they watch YouTube videos, they like hearing a little F-bomb here, a little B-word there, a little this, that. So just try not to do that. Another thing that I also want you to avoid in your thumbnails and title is misspelling some words because the algorithm, there are words that triggers it and it will either remove your video or give your, your channel a strike, or uh, if you're monetized, will demonetize that video. So try your level best that whenever you title your videos, you check that these words are not going to be offensive or will be considered, or will be considered uh, offensive uh, to whoever is going to be listening to. I am going to do a video on that one and I will give you a list of words that you are not allowed to use on your YouTube videos, on your thumbnail as well as title, okay? So if you think that you want to see that video, please, uh, I don't know, show, give me a thumbs up on this video and then I would know that, okay, this video is important to make. Let me refresh so I can see what the comments are. The growth on YouTube can 
be slow, but it's worth it. Yeah, I agree. Smusiso says, what is your click-through rate? Right now, my click-through rate is at 4.5%. Uh, generally, YouTube says that uh, channels on the platform, the click-through rates are between 2 and 10%. So if your click-through rate is at 2%, you're not doing bad, but you are at the lower end of that. So if you can get your click-through rate between 4.5%, 5% to 6 to 10%, then you are doing a great job. So if your click-through rate is at 2%, it's not that you're doing a bad job and you shouldn't feel bad about it. The only time maybe you need to pick up your or lift up your socks is when it is below the 2%. Um, And my average view duration, oh, it varies, eh? My average view duration, can, sometimes it's like three and a half minutes, four minutes. The, the, the largest was seven minutes. I think it was like last month. So this month, it's just, it, it dropped. I think it's because of the shorts that I'm doing. Because no shorts, uh, they basically change the numbers on your analytics. Um, hi, Voice of Mercy, hi sister, how are you in Nigeria? Um, have have you ever visited Oman? No, I've never visited Oman. To be, I would love to visit Oman someday. Um, Smithy, looking good now. Keep it up, bro. Thank you, thank you. You were talking about subscribing when I came in. Can you elaborate more? Basically, what I was talking about is that stay away from Safosub because Safosub um, will get you nowhere. So somebody asked me a question about my subscribers being at 335, and then it dropped. And then I, I was telling, uh, I think it was Musiso. So I was telling Musiso that the reason why I did that is because I was testing out Safosub if indeed it, uh, it grows your YouTube channel or not. Turns out it doesn't. The YouTube algorithm is not stupid. So um, I, when I went to other channels, uh, testing out Sub for Sub, people did come over, subscribed, but they were removed by the algorithm. And I was left with my authentic subscribers. So basically that I was talking about. Um, all right. Okay, I see people are saying I should create a video on the language thing that YouTube bans, uh, because I think it's very important. It's, it's as important as copyright. Uh, copyright as well, it's something that I see most new YouTubers uh, engage in, or maybe I don't know where they don't know, or I don't know what the case is. So if you are going to use popular music on your YouTube videos, uh, the, the the consequence is is in two ways. It's either a copyright claim or a copyright strike. Now, a copyright claim, it's more like the artist will put a claim on that um, video that you use their music on, meaning that in the future when you are monetized and that video, let's say that video gets like uh, a billion views and you are thinking, oh my goodness, I'm going to be making a million dollars out of this video. Guess what? That million dollars is not coming to you. It's going straight to the owner of the music that you use and you get zero dollars. And that's the last thing you want. And then copyright strike. A copyright strike is not a strike on the video that you used on your video. Huh? <laughs> a copyright strike is not on the video you use that music. You use music on, okay. English is going away. So what I'm saying is the strike is on your channel, not on the video, okay? So if it's on your channel and you are working towards monetization, you will get rejected. So I would say stay away from copyright music. Stay away from popular music altogether. Uh, whether it's seven seconds long, five seconds long, or 20 seconds long, just don't do it. Go into a uh, YouTube uh, music library and take a, I don't know, a track there. It's all uh, copyright free. So um, 
these are the videos that I'm going to be making in the future so that I get to explain to you properly without my English breaking and um, so that you understand what is, what is expected of you and what's not expected of you, what will get you into trouble with your YouTube videos or channel for that matter. Um, guys, please like this video. Oh, yes, please. Um, that's another... I'm sorry, guys, with the honking. Another thing about, like, you see the like button? It is directly connected to the YouTube algorithm because if you click like, you are telling the, you clicking like, it tells the YouTube algorithm that people are liking this video. Therefore, it should push it to more people. So right now the debate is what's more important between subscribers and like? And I can tell you that likes are more important because it what will grow your YouTube channel. When, when the YouTube algorithm pushes your YouTube video to a bigger crowd and people click watch your YouTube video, chances are if they like what they're watching, they will subscribe. I don't know if you get the logic. So that is why I, I think after learning a lot about YouTube, instead of asking for subscribers, I should be asking for likes on my YouTube videos so that when you like, then the algorithm will take the video and pushes it, if that makes sense. And of course, a bonus on that is when you like the video and then you make a comment. And then the algorithm then therefore will say, oh, okay, wow, this video then it is uh, important and then it will push it or promote it. So thank you for asking people to like this live. Great info, Gallo Glass 420. Smusiso says, uh, do you see CPM being high in South Africa in 2030? Uh, South African CPM on like high end uh, content, it is $10. I think that is a high CPM as far as I'm concerned. Um, so I'm not sure. <laughs> we are still considered a third world country. Uh, so I'm not, I'm not sure. There's a lot of work that needs to be done here in South Africa. I, I still feel that YouTube needs to come to South Africa like it did in, when it went to Nigeria um, and, and do like some workshops for South African YouTubers and those that are interested in YouTube. That way we'll be able to understand this whole CPM thing. Uh, right now, I know that it is $10 in South Africa uh, depending on the content that you are creating on your channel. And I must tell you that in South Africa, there have been YouTubers who make hundreds of thousands of dollars with their content. The CPM for them, it can be high or, I mean, it could be even beyond $10. I think if the, uh, if the, um, the viewers come from the US, Canada, UK, basically the first world countries, obviously those uh, CPMs are quite high and they make a lot of money. Uh, use the free music that needs uh, no attribution. True. Uh, is South Africa a US treaty like Canada, UK or, and Australia? where they don't pay taxes for views from American viewers. In fact, that is the, uh, the, my next research. I'm not sure. Let me just say, say it like that. I'm not sure if we do. I don't think, no. I think the U.S. has such treaties with the allies, and South Africa is not an American ally. And I'm talking in terms of, like, war and all that. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm going to be doing a research on that one and I'll get back to you, but I doubt it. Um, okay. So, um, yeah, like I was giving you guys things that you need to be aware of. Another thing that I want you to be aware of is when you get to monetization. I want to speak about the length of your YouTube videos. I mean, I know that creating YouTube videos that are three minutes, two minutes, uh, six minutes and stuff like that is ideal for your YouTube growth, but you must also be careful 
that you don't feed your um, your audience this length, um, uh, uh, like the length of that you create your YouTube videos for, and then one day you start creating videos that are ten minutes long, and then they already been spoiled by two minutes, ten, uh, two minutes, six minutes, or five minutes, and then you come with a, a video that is ten minutes long, you people are going to unsubscribe. So I would rather you create um, like two minutes, maybe the next upload will be five minutes, maybe the another upload, then it is eight minutes. Like that. That's why people know that, okay, sometimes you create long length videos or long form videos. Sometimes you create short form videos. I know that some people that have subscribed to me because of the shorts uh, may think that my channel, uh, my videos are like, 10 seconds long or 20 seconds long no my channel is a long form uh, a long form uh, video channel it's just that i'm experimenting with shorts i want to see how these uh, shorts work okay dislikes are also a form of engagement youtube will push you yeah 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 i agree that's the thing about people <laughs> i had somebody crying about dislikes i thought oh, why people have one dislike and i'm like you know, a dislike is an engagement. And it's like a joke on the hater. I, I think that's what YouTube is like. If you don't have anything nice to say, rather not say it. Because let's say you are monetized and you get like uh, maybe a hundred dislikes and you get like a thousand uh, likes. Those dislikes, you're going to get paid for. So what does the hater get in return? Absolutely nothing. You trigger the YouTube algorithm with the three factors, which is click, watch, and engagement. A dislike is an engagement. So never feel bad when you see dislikes. You are located in South Africa. Yes, I am. Johannesburg, to be precise. South Africa is not a U.S. treaty. No, I, I, I don't think so. I don't think so. I saw a document from 1998 between South Africa and the US so where the taxes are the same as UK, Canada, and Australia. Well, taxes are influenced by political, um, what do you call it? Uh, in a political era. So you just had, uh, in America, you just had Donald Trump he did one thing with taxes and then we're not sure what joe biden is going to be doing same here in south africa when uh, jacob zuma was president our taxes were sitting at a different position now they are going to be in a, i don't know they're just influenced by political eras i think so i don't know now if they're the same or not i heard that it's best to do longer videos than short 10 minutes or more. That is for monetization. Uh, monetization used for you to uh, to earn a little bit more money uh, and add mid-roll mid -roll ads. Your videos had to be 10 minutes and longer. Now they've shortened it by two minutes. If your YouTube videos are eight minutes to, I don't know, however long, then you can now add mid-roll ads. Uh, shorts are very important right now. In fact, they are a gold mine. Don't underestimate or feel that you shouldn't be doing shorts on your YouTube channel because they are the future, and uh, especially for the growth of your YouTube channel. When your short is going to make it on a short shelf, well, that is a million dollar question because I've been doing shorts for the past two weeks and none of them have made it onto the shelf yet. And once they do end up there, chances are my YouTube channel might blow up. Uh, so. Don't think that uh, uploading shorts on your channel is going to disadvantage you, no. Um, okay, longer videos are better for watch time. Exactly, very much so. Yeah, I, I, I couldn't agree more. I couldn't agree more. Any other questions you guys may want to ask? Uh, maybe I should end. My did well two days ago. Ah, uh, yeah, I actually did see that. I think it's your daughter. You were doing her hair. Yeah, that that that's that was good. That was good. Um, that was good. But less subscribers. Um, 
I think where it's going to uh, basically blow up is when the short is on the shelf and it, it lasts there a long time. Hopefully, um, it lasts at least more than a week and you are going to pick up subscribers there. Um, how do you know if it has made it? Basically, there are two ways that you are going to see. is either you will see it on the shelf or you are going to see your, your shorts, the, the, the views will be higher than usual. Then you will know that your shorts made it onto the shelf. Um, okay. Anything else, guys, that you might want to talk about? Or maybe I should end this live? Um, I'm so appreciative, guys, that you actually joined. <laughs> um, I was a little bit scared, I must be honest. I was like, whoa, what if nobody comes? What's going to happen? <laughs> but uh, here you are. I'm, I'm very, very grateful. I'm very grateful. Um, you can do short videos as long as people are watching them. For example, if a five-minute video is watched for three minutes, YouTube will push that video, which means more views and watch time. Yes, basically, YouTube uh, is main. YouTube's main concern is watch time. As a matter of fact, um, people that are monetized, if you are monetized, forget subscribers, forget views. What you should be working on is um, watch time. Obviously, for you to get watch time, you need to concern yourself with views. So um, if your videos are watched for a long period of time, yes, the algorithm will push those videos. Um, thanks for coming out. Thank you. Do at least 30 minutes to an hour of what? The lives? Yeah, because that was going to be my next question. How long do you want my lives to be between 30 minutes an hour or an hour and a half for two hours. <laughs> I don't even know why they would even be two hours long, but I let me know. Just please let me know so that um, I know in the future when I set up for lives, how long we are going to be alive for. Do at least 30 minutes to an hour. Okay. All right. Any other suggestions how long I should do lives for Tanae Jasmine. Hey, girl. <laughs> I just I finished watching your um your Dollar Tree haul. That was interesting. Most of the stuff that you have there, we don't have them here in South Africa, and probably even the candy, which is the secret word. I I wouldn't know if it's a secret word or not because maybe the candy you would have mentioned. It's not sold here in South Africa, but hey, I wish whoever is going to win the best of luck and congrats to them. Uh, I love your channel, by the way. Oh, and I think that I heard you say you have a teenager, and I'm thinking you are a teenager yourself. Wow, you age very well. Wow, good for you. Hello, however you feel like. Okay, okay, I think that's good. <laughs> Thanks for these tips, Clances. Thank you so much, Mama. Uh, no, no one can say the topic. Okay. Leslie, Boca, thanks for the tips, bro. You are so welcome. I think it should be 30 minutes. Okay. 30 minutes to an hour. Oh, okay. So we still have some more time. I think about 15 minutes left. <laughs> um, hey, thank you so much. You are so kind. No, I mean it. I mean it. <laughs> yeah. You are in your 30s? You look 16. <laughs> I promise you, you do. <laughs> I even said you you give me a uh, raven back in the day. <laughs> I'm sure you've probably heard that many times. <laughs> um, it depends on you how long it's increasing your, uh, your minutes. People will come and go. You can also do silent lives. Ooh, silent lives. Okay. Okay, that's interesting. Hello, Jose. So good to see you here, girl. Thank you. <laughs> oh, my God. Thank you. Thank you for the thumbs up. Thank you. 
Uh, these are my people. <laughs> Chish has been with me since I had double digit subscribers. I think early 30s. She has been with me. <laughs> wow. I, I'm very appreciative of that. I'm sure other people as well have been with me since uh, when I had single digit subscribers. Uh, that was just last October. So, wow. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, you're welcome, Chish. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Um, yeah, guys, shoot those questions. Uh, make sure short videos are high quality. Yeah, indeed. Um, I, I, you know, there's a debate about quality versus quantity, and I fall under the quantity side because I've noticed YouTube videos that go viral. I, YouTube videos that have such low quality um, uh, levels and versus those that are well filmed, well edited and things of that nature. I don't know why, but for some reason, uh, quantity seems to win on YouTube. I don't know. Um, you're increasing your minutes. I have been on Silent Lives. I have seen you on Silent Lives before. I have even left my phone running three hours so that per people can get credit. Okay, this is high quality, actually. For real? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, earlier on, people were on about, were on about my accent. Um, so <laughs> I know that it's irrelevant. Uh, I'm just thinking that I have this very weird accent, which sometimes my fellow South Africans will be like, where are you from? And I'm like, ah, and then they're like, <laughs> well, I just said something in Zulu. So because I'm just trying to kind of like give it away that I am a South African. Yeah, there is a story behind that, but it's something that I'm going to tell someday. Right now, I just want to focus on the content that I put out. That is why I'm not doing vlogs. I'm not doing a day in my life. I'm not doing uh, content that is going to get you guys unsubscribing to my channel. Um, last year, in December, I attempted to do Vlogmas. And then while I was busy filming my Vlogmas, and then I realized, who do you think you are? <laughs> At this stage on your channel, you were doing Vlogmas. So I kind of like aborted it. But what I did was I posted those videos on my channel just for documentation sake. Whether people watch that or not, I'm okay. Uh, so instead of just deleting those footages, I decided to upload them. So that's another thing when you're a small YouTuber or in fact a beginner YouTuber, stay away from vlog from vlogging, stay away from a day in your life. Uh, I know that I always say this and somebody somebody used to laugh at me when I say that. Like oh, and she, I think she said, and we love our day in our life video. You do love them, but are they going to be working for you? I don't think so. So instead, focus on what people are searching for on YouTube, uh, that is content. People go for information on YouTube. People go either to get entertained and all that stuff. Um, let's go back. Aaron Winchester. Hello, Mr. Clances. Hello, Aaron. How are you there? Like your life? Oh, wow, thank you so much. You have no idea how nervous I was. <laughs> You're increasing your minutes. I have been, okay, I think I've read that. This is high quality. Okay, I've read that too. Your videos are quality. I agree. Oh, thank you. Uh, in the beginning, though, cringeworthy. I think I even, when I projected my voice, I had like a rhythm. I, yeah, it was just embarrassing. But it's one of those things that you will go through as a, uh, a beginner YouTuber, trying to find your voice, trying to find your feet, and of course, your confidence. So now I'm a little bit confident. I get nervous every time I press the record button. And uh, if I had to do bloopers for you, you would laugh your lungs out. Um, it, I sometimes laugh at myself because my tongue will get tied 
and my brain will just go blank. And I will just stare at my, uh, at my screen for a long period, sometimes a good 30 minutes, trying to think, what's my next line? I write script and I write long form uh, sentences and I memorize those uh, sentences. Now I'm becoming pretty good at it. Um, so those are the stuff that you are going to go through in the beginning. Um, Aaron, uh, hashtag shorts. One of my shorts has over a thousand views just because of you. Thank you very much. Wow. <laughs> Wow, that, that is incredible. I'm so happy for you. Thank you so much. You see, that's another thing. Uh, I started filming shorts two weeks ago and none of my shorts, and then I have about 12 of them so far. None of them have made it onto the shelf yet. But again, the algorithm will treat shorts. Uh, I, I don't know what, how the algorithm works at this point in time, but for some people, you would you will film a short uploaded on your channel tonight by tomorrow morning it has hit a hundred thousand uh subscribers because um, while you were asleep it was taken to the shelf and then it got views so excuse me that is why i'm saying be patient continue uploading your shorts one day they are going to make it onto the shelf so congratulations on your um on the views that you've gotten and i hope you also got some subscribers along the way um like this video as you come along please yes indeed uh chances you have to remind your audience to like <laughs> i agree um please like my video like this live guys uh very important uh thank you yeah you're welcome you're welcome uh aaron you're very much welcome uh, what are you going to do when you start repeating your advice in the future video and your subscribers notice because the niche you are in is a little bit limited in terms of, yeah, that's very true. Um, the thing is, pe people that do the content that I do are very important because, number one, the audience uh, uh, is always new. There's, there will always be somebody new that didn't know the things that um, we speak about on YouTube. Secondly, YouTube is forever evolving. And a person like me who does this type of content is always on top of things. Every little change that YouTube is going to make, that's content for me to bring to you. Um, I'm, right now, I'm getting a lot of people saying, oh, I didn't know about this. Hey, I didn't know about that. And when you look at their YouTube channel, like you go to their channels and you go under about, you will see that their YouTube channels are about six months old or eight months old to a year old. And yet they did not know the things that I'm talking about on my channel. So uh, that's how we survive in this niche. But you are 100% correct. But if you are a person that has been following me uh, and you've heard these, these, uh, this information before, you can either watch or keep it moving. I, I think that's just how it, it, it works. Uh, but from what I've noticed, people, even your loyal subscribers, if you repeat a topic, they will still watch. Sometimes they watch because they want to see if there's any changes that may have taken place by YouTube and then you are informed of those changes. Right now, the tax uh, provision for YouTubers living outside the US, a lot of YouTubers don't know about that. A lot of YouTubers will be receiving these emails telling them, especially the, the, subscribe, the, the, the monetized one, they are going to be receiving these emails telling them to submit their tax information. And you'll find a lot of them may not even have a tax number. And, uh, and then they think they know everything about YouTube and then they'll come across me and then they'll be like, oh, I didn't know that. And then they'll be, now they, they'll know better that, okay, when this comes, I'm ready for that. I think that's the best I can answer that question. Mine too hit a thousand plus because of Clancy's. Yes, yes, yes. I, I, so, I saw that and you were so not confident about that short, right? And then it did very well. Um, he can continue in the same niche and new people will still come because there's P 
people uh, starting YouTube channels every day. That's true. Or his true subscribers will stay connected. That's how most of the uh, people in my niche survive. It's because of loyal subscribers and loyal viewers. I I've noticed as well, when you change, when you kind of like pivot, they get very upset. I'm talking your loyal subscribers. I'm like, but then I've already spoke about this topic before. And they'll say, so what? So what? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I got uh, like five subscribers by doing shorts. Yeah. One subscriber is a lot. Five, wow. So just keep doing your shorts. One day you will see this five growing to, to a thousand, thousand to ten thousand. Um, I've seen witness YouTube channels that had like uh, 900 subscribers blowing up to 22,000 subscribers. I was subscribed to a YouTube channel about two weeks ago that had 1,800 subscribers. The person did shorts. In fact, watched my video, uh, uh, did a short, and then now they're sitting at 22.2 thousand subscribers. So it works. Uh, yes, you're correct. The new tax policy was a big blow. Yeah, but if you think about it, um, many of, many people that live outside the U.S. have been riding and milking this cow for a very good uh, uh, time. And I think maybe other governments as well started complaining and put pressure on YouTube. I mean, on, onto YouTube. I'm, I'm not sure what brought this about, but um, do I support it? I do. I do. You are doing awesome here on your live. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much, Natty. <laughs> uh, like this video. <laughs> yeah, like this video, please. <laughs> I keep forgetting. And I'm not supposed to be forgetting this. Very important. Uh, like the video, guys. Thanks. Um, so we are now approaching. Uh, we are left with three minutes to an hour since starting this live. So... What questions would you like to ask before I say adios? Um, no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. Another thing that I also discovered is that some YouTubers don't know that their channels have to be verified. Basically, you need to verify your Gmail accounts automatically, verifying your youtube channel so if you think your youtube channel is not verified do follow me on instagram at the real and at the real clancers tutorials and uh you can dm me and then we'll go through that process together i'm one of the subs <laughs> yeah <laughs> So yeah, verifying your YouTube channel, you can't get monetized if your YouTube channel is not verified, okay? So make sure that you verify. And another thing, if, you, if your channel is not verified and you subscribe to my YouTube channel, the YouTube algorithm is going to assume that you are a bot and then it will remove you as a subscriber. Yes, let's all like <laughs> this video. I love the support in this. Clancy's deserves it. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. How long do you take to reach a hundred? Well, for me, um, okay, let me just tell you a short story. I started my YouTube channel on the 3rd of April, 2020. Uh, I, uh, 12 days down the line, after I, I have uploaded about four or five videos, I got infected with the pandemic and I could not upload for like four months because after recovering from this virus i had like lingering um lingering symptoms and every time i tried to talk i would get choked and 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 my chest basically will contract and it will squeeze out water and as a result i would cough and i couldn't talk so i delayed my channel when i recovered around late august in september the first week of september i resumed my youtube channel uh, I got my first 100 subscribers on the 21st of December, 2020. 
That is after I realized that uh, uploading once a week was not working for me. So I increased the frequency of my upload to two times a week. And that kind of worked as well. Then I was like, okay, let me just increase by one more. And then I would um, upload three times a week. And that's actually what propelled my YouTube channel uh, growth to 100 subscribers by the 21st of December. So right now I'm currently doing more experiments. Uh, as you can, as you probably have told, I'm uploading a lot of shorts um, every single day. Uh, well, the whole point of that is to see how fast the YouTube algorithm is going to place my shorts on the shelf. At the same time, also watch you guys. I want to hear feedback. How quick did you get onto the shelf? And then I've been getting a lot of feedback, by the way, uh, via my DM on Instagram. People are like, wow, it worked. I, I doubted this. It worked. So at least now in my notes, I know exactly what to tell new subscribers when they come through when I create long form videos. Um, uh, all right. Um, okay. Bye, Tanae's We see so well done. <laughs> yeah. Okay, guys. I think um, I can end this live here. I highly appreciate each and every one of you guys. May you be abundantly blessed for your kind support for this channel. Hopefully, it will reach whatever heights it will decide to reach in the future. I'm happy with that. But my main um, goal is to help you grow and do whatever it is that you want to do with your YouTube channel. If you want to go full time, hey, go right ahead. But I want to hear that you are successful on YouTube. Okay, I'm so sorry to hear that and keep up the good work. Thank you, Aaron. Thank you, Susie. So we hope you won't forget the six of us watching when you have 100,000 subscribers. I will never. Come on. You see, your this, you see yourselves. You guys will always be embedded in my mind. No matter how big I am or however big you are going to be, you will always be embedded in my mind because you are the foundation of this YouTube channel. And it will be stupid of me to forget you. Like, if anybody forgets your own, which is another thing that I'm going to talk. I think tomorrow I'm going to do another live. I'm not sure. And I want to talk about engaging your, uh, your, your, your community when they, when they comment, you need to respond. So that is something that I'm going to talk about tomorrow. If you want to, if you want me to do another live tomorrow, let me know, guys. I don't know. <laughs> like this video. Uh, then I will see if uh, that can be done. Um, thanks so much. God bless. Thank you, Mama. Thank you so much. Okay, guys. Uh, thanks again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So I'm not quite sure how to end this live. What do I just press end and then that's it? <laughs> okay, guys. No. Uh, goodbye. Let's see each other tomorrow. I think I'm going to do another one tomorrow. Thanks. Thank you. Uh, you can send a notice out and out. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're right. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. Thanks, eh? Goodbye, guys. Good night and good day wherever you are. <laughs>